Well, we'll see. New models beyond GDP. I talked a lot about that and the wisdom of the crowds. Finally, there's another 7 million which came from the e-health platform. Clearly, e-health and aging or special needs are some of the key demands. So this bit of the call, which was in a different area, came into ours was part of it, is part of our call, but it came from a different source with a different uh, different mindset. I met the people, the person who wrote the call, and she had these social networks to help people cope. Yeah. Finally, this is very little. We are really being stingy, huh? Let's hope we get somebody to volunteer to do it. Because in the first call, we had a lot of uh, CAs coordinating activities. Here we only have one little one, which means I'll have to do more of the work less. So expected impact. Now we're very visionary, so there are like two pages of expected impact. But I'm going to go quickly because I mentioned it at the beginning of my talk. Yeah. This is really important. As I said, if you don't have a clear existing physical community of engaged users, you may not make those 50 or you know, you have to get fives and fours on that scorecard. So please make sure it's very clear. It's not about architectures in the air, it's about bottom-up helping citizens. No technology, as I said, no 3D, HD, TV everywhere. Now, the third one is kind of unusual because it says at least two partners which bring non-ICT disciplines to tackle the innovation context or focus area. At first I was against that, because I'd say, you know, you have to have 40% women or 50% women, 1% uh, gay, two, these formulas. However, I've changed my mind because what happened is that when you mention it, you get people involved that you didn't expect that actually change the projects around. So it's, it seems to be working well in call one, so we have it in call two. And these are the budgets. This is the horrible net portal which you struggle with. And these are where you find the documents. Now my name is the second one from the third one from the bottom. Of course, Kramer is responsible for the digital social innovation in a different unit, and Fabrizio and I have been there from the beginning of CAPS. And that long, long website, which starts with HTTP, EC, Europa, EU, that's what you need to know if you can't remember collective awareness in the website. That's the official location. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, I think if you have uh, questions. Can you elaborate a bit on the notion of community? I mean, is that a solution that should apply to any citizen, a community? I guess not. So, what is a community for you? So, I, I I think I say community of engaged users, and in my speech I, I talked about cyclists, because you wouldn't believe it, but cyclists identify with other cyclists, and they want to change the city, okay, they're, they're against cars, they're against... so I'm not a cyclist, I mean, uh, <laughs> I was three months with a cast, you can imagine, I was happy to have a car, but that is a community, now, what is a community on Facebook, I don't know, I'm not a... I, I dislike Facebook, but I think if you go there, you will find people who associate um, under something that they identify with. Now, you know, you could go to community in terms of Catholic community or communist community. I think that to call texts talk about a community of engaged citizens, so something that they can share. What do they share? Do they share photographs? Do they share their heartbeats? Do they share, no. In terms of sharing of data, it's a community that you don't mind sharing things with. For example, 
my colleagues, for me, would be a community. I also belong to the MIT alumni or whatever. That's a community. I have several communities, you know. So uh, if you're a feminist, chances are you have a network. And, and using communities that exist is a very good way to get to the network effects. But obviously, it's not just one community. So it, I remember the Apple IBM uh, debate in the very, you know, very first PCs. And the Apple was for teachers and students. And anybody who was a business identified with the IBM. Now, it wasn't the computers that could, it was just that the communities adopted that as a symbol of their way of uh, life or identity. I hope that answers your question. You might have a better one. You want them as partners in the proposal or handing from some of the partners. You want them as partners. <coughs> So I think I need, I need. So do you want them as partners in the proposal, or do you want them hanging from other partners? Both. I mean, it depends. So if you can engage them, if they're a loose community, it's, they cannot sign a contract, so you wouldn't really want to put them through the contracting. What we have in CAPS, which is unusual because I've been a PO 25 years, we have a lot of non-profit cooperatives. Now that is really a killing, uh, you know, I have to write, I don't know how many letters to get these people to be accepted by our auditing, you know. So, I know the difficulty, we will go, you know, the POs will really try everything to get the contract signed, but make it easy for yourself by not having a lot of, uh, you know, the association of uh, some people who don't have a legal basis, who don't pay taxes, are hardly ever going to be allowed uh, in the contracting mechanisms of the commission, nor would you want them to. So how you engage a community now, that's not new to CAPS, that's existed since the very first framework program. What we have now in CAPS is much more of these innovation agencies or government. Uh, I've, had, I've had government organizations coming to me, it's EC from Scotland, from uh, Salamanca, from some of these cities. Who have, or, who have these uh, non-profit uh, social innovation organizations. And if they're established, I think we can get them in the contract. The Otherwise, you have, if you have that, like kindergarten, they write a letter, you know, and you put in those letters. I mean, sometimes you have letters of support. Anything that convinces your three evaluators <coughs> that you're not just uh, pushing paper, you actually have people waiting to use what you will develop. There was another question from... Uh, good morning. I, I have a question about the... To, to speak about uh, knowledge, share, awareness, communities, but uh, uh, also do, is a value for the proposals and to include uh, policy changes uh, for the sustainability of the action is, is in the community uh, level, but also can be, we can include uh, policy changes or not? Uh, no, I, I would not. I'll tell you why. Because policy, if policy involves money, you put enough money and you get the policy change. It's called lobbying. But if policy involves voting, politics, or democratic, it's unpredictable. So I wouldn't want to sign a contract that obliges you uh, to, you know, increase uh, uh, subsidies to poor people by 50% or whatever. So you know what I mean. So I think when you have to, you, there's a long list of expected impacts, and it's very important in your proposal to say to pick one or two, not you know, because if somebody tries to do everything, and reproduces the text of the call is not going to look good. People will say, ah, they don't, it's not credible. So just say what it is that you really are going to affect, and then if you go beyond that, Hi. Are there any requirements minimum requirements about the size, the number, and maybe the diversity of the communities to be involved in a given project, in a given proposal? Are you looking for particular uh, <coughs> minimum number, let's say, 
one community, two communities, or? So, um, the answer is partly yes. So yes, in terms of age 2020. If you are, you know, one organization or two organization in Catalonia, chances are, you know, this is not Horizon 2020. You need an EU dimension, but it needs at least two independent partners. So if you have all the fab labs of the world, again, you know, or the media labs, no, you have to have independent organizations participating. So there is a minimum, you know, two independent plus one, something like, you know, three, and that's for all the age 2020 rules. Now, as for caps, how many communities? The amount of money is small here. So you can't really, although if I were developing an app, I would want to put two case studies or use cases, why, and completely different. Because that would test what I want. I can give you an example. So I, I was in Holland last week uh, with one of the projects. They started off with three uh, use cases. And the reviewers said that one was really not failing. So they, they then narrowed and said, focus, you know, because you're all over focus. The two use cases completely changed. I mean, one ended up being performing art theater. Why do I mention that? It only came in when Nesta, Nesta is one of these UK agencies, gave some money to artists in a, in a working class neighborhood, miracle theater, you know, fantastic artists to do some, uh, some broad, you know, to use the broadband links to create digital theater. So they came into my project for free and they completely changed it around because all of a sudden the needs of producing artists which were not anticipated is, is was one, and the other application is uh, SAPO Campus, it's a social network for all the Portuguese kids. So what, what the application ends up is not clear and it can change. You know, what you, at the time you submit the proposal, which is this April, you need to have those communities engaged, willing to test it. But some might be a failure. Failures are as important as success, if you understand them. Right, so the answer to your question is, you could have three, you could put in three, but you know, you risk saying, ah, with this money, I'm not sure. Okay, so it's a question of how much cost, how much equipment. If some of those communities are willing to fund their own way, part if one's in government or they have other sources of income, all the better. Because then with this amount of contract, you actually get more. That's one of the better ways. Um, the key thing is first to get through those three independent uh, evaluators. And then once you get the contract, I think the commission is there to help the success of the project, so we modify, I mean, I, I always stopped. If something is not working, I immediately stopped it and reused the resource for something far better. Please, could you present yourself before uh, making the question? Or where, where do you come from? Which organization? Hello, good morning. I'm Esther Parra from IMIT Europe, who is a site from IMIT University, Australian University Europe. Um, we are preparing a proposal, and um, my main concern is about the budget. Um, what happens if the project proposal is about 3 million euros for a collective awareness pilot of, of participatory innovation paradigms? Uh, because uh, according to the instructions, uh, you are expecting proposals between half a million and two million. So the, the, the slide that, that answers your question was slide A. Mm -hmm. So how many uh, pilots do we want? As, you know, the Commission would like to have pilots in everything, one in health, one in... Uh, uh, you know, performing arts, one mothers with young children. We would like to spread caps everywhere, but not too thin. So, on the other hand, you want as much budget as you need. So, to, to, have, to ask for less budget than it would be needed would be a big mistake. So, you need to play that game, which is why I said I would start with one or two I would reduce the number of test cases 
uh, to the ones that you think are most likely to, to succeed, okay? And then once you get the funding, try to enlarge through, you know, these, you know, there are a lot of non-profit uh, companies who think it's a benefit. I mean, when I started in the commission, I would only fund up to 37%, the 70% came from industry. That was a time when industry had a lot of researchers. So now, we are funding 100% of these proposals. I think it's changed, every framework program is different. I don't know if it's better, but that doesn't limit you from getting alternative sources of funding. So just fund the core, the core part, because the money is not a lot, and if you ask for a lot, you know, you can ask for the whole 24 if you have a real great. <laughs> the problem there is that you might get a top point, but then during the ranking, everybody else who's fighting, because at the end there's the big panel like this with ranking, and everybody defends the one they like best. And you know, they say, oh, it's better because it's got, uh, you know, this community which was never engaged before and it's unique, whereas your big fat 24 million uh, is, is similar to what's funded under smart cities here and there. And the moment in the meeting they say that something else is funding the same thing, you really, you know, your impact goes down by one and you go down at the bottom of the ranking list. So I hope that answers your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were thinking about several pilots, so we have to limit no, the number of pilots to fit more or less the, the scorers as the budget, and then... <laughs> you can also do three right. proposals. I mean, we don't put a limit, unfortunately, for us. You can do three proposals, and they look quite similar. <laughs> you know, you're playing the lottery here, right. and each has an app, and, you know, chances are it'll be the, the, it won't be the same three reviewers who get all three. You might get some differences. All right. You can be clever. <laughs> so, one more question. Yes, I, I, I was under the impression that you said that we shouldn't limit ourselves to the two million for the A call, but then when this uh, uh, lady uh, said we should better limit ourselves to the two million, so what's the final? There, there is no fix. I mean, there is no algorithm that says that if you have three partners and uh, you know they have 10% travel and they travel within Europe by train. You know, there's algorithms. We've we've had uh, these framework programs for 28 years, so more or less I know what is management. But I also know, having worked with these very large screens, if you have a project about you know uh, telepresence. I wouldn't fund it for two million because I know that's a joke. You can't do it. So you have to be reasonable. You have to, to say, you know, we couldn't do this for less than X. But imagine no. two million is just an average because you know we it says twenty-four, so we'd like to get twelve. Okay, we have now twelve projects, we spend that amount, so we're reproducing. But these are just indications. Okay, so for example, if you need to have more than two pilots because you're working transdisciplinary in order to get your system running, then you can justify uh, to go beyond the recommended uh, budget, I suppose. I mean, put it this way, but we have uh, very little resources in the Commission. So if you ask me, would you like two projects each for 60 million or 12 each for one and a half? I mean, I'm lazy, so I prefer big projects, okay? Because you have just as much effort with a little one. But it doesn't mean that the little one is not more innovative and very quick to move, because don't underestimate the time it takes to put in all these, uh, you know, to, to feed the net. And if you're small, non-profit organizations, you're likely not to have, uh, you know, the, the, the person who knows our our financial rules better than I do. There is some admin cost. So, yeah, pointing fingers. Is yeah. there another question? Or? Yes, um, I'm Esther from Oxfam in Vermont. Uh, which is the normal um, duration of the projects? Uh, do you have a standard um, yes. time frame? Three years. 
three is maximum. I, if you want more money in less time, okay, that that game has been played, in which you get you ask for a certain amount and then you <laughs> you just you know have half the time. So people in evaluation will look like, as you said, oh here's a two million, oh that one's six million, oh that's too big, you know. But this is not my mind. This is the evaluators, you know, the hundreds. 100 or 200 evaluators for our program. What I would do is, if, if, and if technology is rapid prototyping, which it is, you know, six months, one year, I've seen, it may, you know, the change in technology is unbelievable through three-year projects. So if you're lucky, you do only one, one and a half year. It looks like the same amount of money, but you're in fact spending it very quickly. What is new now, respect to previous, is that there's no longer PO negotiation, which I think is bad, but I still try to negotiate if I can. Huh? But normally what it means is that you are stuck to the words that you said uh, in, in April. And that's, you know, if you start 1st of January or 1st of November, no, you can retroactively start, which is why if you have your community already tied in, you have it easy. Because then all you have to do is hire the new people, you know. You have to see it from your side of the, you know, your, from the side of the project. From the side of the commission, it doesn't matter. You pick how long your contract is when you start. We pick when we have a review. So it's, you, people like to know, they, they always ask me, can we do it for two million? How many partners does it take? You know, how what is the like? They like the commission to put everything straight, you know? We're all the same, and we just put in the words. It's not like that. Research is not like that. You're the ones who decide what is needed. You have to, you know, you know what's it. So it's your word, and then if they believe it, they will give you the go-ahead, and then ideally you go directly to contract. So you should have the CVs of the people actually working. You should have the organizations. Often what happens is that when we get these proposals and the coordinating partner is small, non-profit, SME. We love SMEs, but you know, SMEs don't, don't have an easy lifetime. So often we are obliged to change the coordinator. The coordinator is the one where all the, the taxpayer money goes. And so it's good to have a coordinator that is, in fact, you know, for the 10% or less management. 10% is for big projects, and so for the management, you really want somebody who, who knows and answers quickly. I can tell you, projects with good coordination. They might not understand the technology, but they have the right person who, who does what it takes to get you paid efficiently. It's a big, big advantage. Says, how do I do this? How do I do that? Because the commission is reducing the staff five percent less every year. So we don't have the time to explain all these massive rules that are on the website. So it's good to have somebody who has some experience. There. I think that's. Oh. Hi, I'm Valeria from Consel Fabra. And um, my question is about the type of community to involve and the relation with the technology to be developed. So my doubt is that, I mean, I understood that we can engage different type of community in each pilot. For example, uh, in a pilot we engage the, com the cyclist community and in